mind in Jarvis. He'll, he'll have a lot to say in this final, Jarvis. Graham Gooch will want to see the back of him. And I think you want to make inroads quickly, get rid of Ramis. Bob says, fine player, good player, good as opening batter as you see. Bob, we've, heard, we've, we've talked about Jarvid, and as uh, David said, he's going to have a lot to say. I mean, you'll have a lot to say with the bat, and you'll have a lot to say to anybody who cares to listen as well. You've played against him. Is he as infuriating as everybody says? No, he's twice as infuriating as everybody says. He's a real pain in the neck, but uh, it's, a, it's a planned technique of his to get under the skin of the opposition. And when you're a hot-blooded fast bowler, nothing gets under your skin more than uh, a batsman moving around at the crease, stopping you halfway up your run-up, saying he's not ready. He is a real pain, but he's some performer, and he's a great competitor. So what will Graham Gooch be saying to the England boys about Jarvin in particular at the uh, team meeting immediately before the final? How, how will they cope with him? Well, England have got a few hotheads. The gentleman behind the stumps with the wicket-keeping gloves easily gets upset. So I hope Alex Stewart keeps his cool. Uh, I think that's what that'll be. Take a deep breath. Take your lead from the experienced player. See how, I, I don't think we'll see him both and getting involved in a shouting match with Jarvid Neandad. But the guys who haven't played in international cricket that long do have to be a bit careful with him. Uh, he's fragile. Handle with care or else he can explode in your face. David, have you got a, a recipe for handling Jarvid? Got to keep calm. Don't get distracted. Put the blinkers on. Let him carry on if he wants to. The bottom line is he is a superb player. He certainly is, and we will see him in action, of course, and you'll see him in action live here on Sky.